<laughs> okay, we are going live. We are going live. Here we go. Here we go. I'm on live all over the world. Hello to all my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube right now. And this is the second day I'm going live on YouTube. So hello to all my friends on YouTube. Um, we're getting all the kinks out. We're figuring all this out. I've never done this before, but it's very, very exciting. And hello to all my friends who are watching me on the other platforms. Let me just set up my screen so I can see everyone's comments and notes. And hello, dear. Hello and hello, Muhammad in London and in Egypt. I see you all there. This is awesome. Good to see you. And I'm now getting the comments. Here we go. Algeria. Surgeon. Hello, Dr. 551. Hello. So I'm, I'm seeing everything now. Hello. Junior in Panama. Hello. Hello. Good to see everyone. There's my bell. This is Paul Gruber, speech language pathologist, English pronunciation and accent coach to the stars of Hollywood, which I don't, don't really talk about that often, but I do work with some very big VIPs that I'm sure many of you know their names. Uh, but we don't talk about those because everything is um, private. And I sign, what do you call those? Those NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. When I work with my uh, famous um, celebrities all over the world. Good to see everyone. How are we doing here? It's looking good. I am out of focus. Let's see. Looks good here. Looks good here on my screen. I'm just wiping the lens. Looks pretty good. Thank you. Hello, Olivia in North Carolina. Hello, hello. Arkansas is here. Botswana, one of my clients, one of my live coaching clients, Sandra. Thank you for that gift. Uh, one of my clients, uh, Sandra, is in Botswana right now. She's uh, in Botswana, but I just worked with her uh, uh, yesterday, actually. I worked with her live yesterday. Hello, greetings from Costa Rica. And Nehi16 wants to know how to pronounce entrepreneur. Thank you, Venom. Go teacher, greatest of all time. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're a gift from God, Black Ice. Thank you. That's so nice of you. That is so nice of you. How are you? And Min from Vietnam and Egypt. You know, I was just, um, I just made a video. You're going to see this probably posted the next few days. The word was enigma. I go, say this word. Enigma, and we talked about the the pyramids of Egypt, the the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. We talked about that. Hello, Moshe. How are you, Moshe? Good to see you. Shalom to you, Jordan, Khaled. Hello, Salam Alechem to all my friends who speak Arabic. Arabic. What am I saying? And Shalom to all my Hebrew speakers and Hebrew friends. The best teacher. Hello from Mar uh, uh, Morocco. Thank you so much. We're on the road. Not only do I have clients in Morocco, I have clients in Monaco. Believe it or not, they're all over Italy. You know what's opening up in Italy right now? I'm so excited for all you Italian people. Uh, Phantom of the Opera is about to open up in Italy, and you are in for a treat because I think it's I think it's the one of the first times that Phantom is going to be in Italy. Yeah. Good to see you day after day. Thank you, Moshe. I appreciate your kind words. So you'll please excuse my eyes because I have, I'm set up here with a whole bunch of cameras broadcasting. You know, when, uh, you know, when Queen Elizabeth was like, I don't know, 21 years old and she spoke to the world, she had all those microphones set up. Well, that's what I feel. I have all these cameras set up here. So I look at this camera and I look at this camera and I look at this. I don't know where to look first, but I'm speaking to a lot of people, thousands actually, thousands and thousands of people are watching me and it's very, very exciting. So cheers to all of you from Pronunciation Workshop. And my client Penny, I have a client uh, from Uganda that I'm working with live right now. And she... Um, she wants to know how can she get a mug? How can she get a pronunciation workshop mug? So we're working on that. We're working on that right now for her. So good to see you. Listen, I came prepared, but if you have any questions, if you have any questions on English, how to pronounce certain words, um, anything like that, let me know and we will have um, AMA today. Ask 
me anything. Ask me anything, and I'd be happy to answer your questions and um, see if I can help you with your English. Hello in Indonesia. Saleh, thank you so much. And Katz, just following you recently. Greetings from Indonesia. I have so many clients from Indonesia. Thank you for the gifts. A lot of people are sending me gifts, and I appreciate that very, very much. Good afternoon. It is, thank you, right now, it is a little after 5.15 p.m. in the Midwest. I just spoke to my mother, who's up in the New York area, and they are expecting eight inches of snow tonight. Would you believe it? Eight inches of snow in the New York area. That's what she told me. But here where I am was 80 degrees. 80 degrees today. You know what that is in Celsius? I'll tell you. 80 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius is 26.6 degrees Celsius. It was a beautiful day. Beautiful day here. But in New York, they're expecting eight inches of snow. I'm so glad I don't live there anymore. Let me tell you. So listen, if you have any specific questions, come to Saudi. I would love to. Um, Abdul, I would love to come to Saudi. I got close. I was in Dubai recently with one of my clients from Saudi, and I'm working with um, a great guy. I'm going to see him tomorrow morning. I'm working with him live. Uh, he's in the construction business in Saudi, and he's sort of beginning to invite me to Saudi, which would be amazing. It's snowing in Algeria, really. It's snowing. It's cold. Stay warm. Stay warm. Peace and love, the word a shalom in Hebrew, shalom in Salam in Arabic, but they mean the same thing. Yes, they do. Peace. Peace and hello. And yeah, so the, the, the languages are so similar. Give us any tips to improve our English. Athir. To improve your English, stay with me. Follow me. If you seriously want to improve your English, I recommend that you uh, take my Miracle Pronunciation Academy. Uh, the link is in the bio, or if you're on YouTube, you can click on, you can go to my website, click on the, my website link, whatever, however you get there. My program is called the Miracle Pronunciation Academy. It's an amazing training program. It's truly amazing. <clears throat> if and, and it's not me saying it, it's all my clients. I have thousands and thousands and thousands of clients taking the course. I've been working on it for about five years. We priced it. We lowered the price so it's very affordable to everyone. It doesn't matter where you live. It's $37 to sign up. The first 12 days, I give you video classes every day for 12 days. And then it's like three days and then every week. And every week, I continue to send you brand new videos that will completely change and transform the way you speak English forever. And um, it's on pronunciation. It's on accent. It's on word connection, syllable stress, intonation, rhythm rate, everything. Everything you need to know to speak perfect English. Thank you for the rose, um, Rajo. Thank you so much. Um, but I will also help you with your vocabulary, your grammar, um, your confidence. Everyone tells me, Paul, my confidence has gotten like crazy amazing because of your training. And it's really good. I'm a speech pathologist. I know what I'm doing. I am not like a lot of those teachers that you see online, you know, who, who say, I'm today, I'm an English teacher, and they start teaching you English. I really know what I'm doing. How to memorize words, Nadim. Uh, repetition helps, and write it on a piece of paper. How can I pronounce entrepreneur? That's a very big, that's a word that people ask me all the time. It, it comes from the French, but it is an English word, and we stress the final syllable. We say it as entrepreneur. Thank you, Mito. You like my shirt? You want my shirt? Thank you so much. You like my shirt. I appreciate your comments. Thank you. Um, bum, 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 bum. That's how we say it. Entrepreneur. So I am an entrepreneur. I started my business, pronunciationworkshop.com. I started it back in, um, well, it started in 1994, a long time ago, but officially the actual website launched in May of 2005. So back in May of 2005, my online presence started. So I've been doing this a long time, but I've actually been working with clients on improving their English and their pronunciation since, um, since 1994. So it's a long, long time. Um, did Paul, what what the word you like most in English? Mine is dignity. Moshe, that's a good dignity. The T is a voiced uh, flapped D. Ding ding ding. 
dignity. So, you know, you want to walk around with a lot of dignity. Hi, Arshad in Chicago. A lot of dignity. That means self-respect, how you feel about yourself. Great. I'm excited for you. Thank you, Shah US. Thank you so much. Oh, look at all these roses. People keep on sending me things. Would you please pronounce Penny? Is that you from Uganda, Penny? That's a good word. You're giving, you're asking me a tough word. Um, Penny, did you see my note? You posted like a 19 minute, if that's you, you posted like a 19 minute recording and I, I replied with a note today. So please read my note in Facebook. You know, we have a Facebook group, a, 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 a private Facebook group where all my live coaching clients go when they want to work with me and we post videos and different, you know, this is for a very select uh, VIP group of those clients who want to work with me in my miracle pronunciation experience. Let me lower that. The miracle pronunciation experience is my six month live coaching mastermind where I work with my clients every week for six months. It's amazing. So uh, Penny's in my, yes, uh, you, Penny, Penny, yes, I will add Penny from Uganda on my username. Penny, you're so funny. You, you make me laugh, Penny. So yes, yeah, so I'll go to Facebook and I wrote you a note. I did. And I thank you for posting. I want to help you, but you can't send me a 19 minute uh, recording. You just can't. You have to send me a shorter recording with the text and then I'll be happy to help you. Um, so please do that. Please look for my note in Facebook. But that's my, uh, Penny's part of my um, live coaching mastermind. I work with Penny every single week for six months and you would not believe how my clients improve. It's amazing. So anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so did I answer entrepreneur and dignity means more than honor. Ahmed, thank you so much. Dignity. Let's see. Let me give you the, the di di uh, dictionaries definition being worthy of honor or respect that's that's what google's telling me being worthy of honor and respect uh, it's a great word dignity dignity um chile hello in chile i have many many clients in, from chile i do i do um thank you penny please redo it that's great um pronounce tempered glass like glass tempered glass K K K K K K K K K. That's how we say it. That's the name. It's K K K K K K K K K. Tempered. The glass is tempered. Are you? If I'm not mistaken, are you from Canada? Your pronunciation is so clear and easy to understand. Thank you so much for saying that. And um, cats. Cats is asking me that. Am I from Canada? I've been to Canada many times. I love Canada. One of my favorite spots in Canada is the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. I don't know if you've ever been to Niagara Falls, but it is so beautiful. But Canada is a beautiful country, and I, I, I love Canada, but I am not from Canada. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her from the night, through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, wide with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Irving Berlin. God bless America. Sing it with me, people. My home, sweet home. I am from the good old USA, although I do love Canada. And I've traveled the world, but I am from the United States. That's why I speak with such an American pronunciation, North American pronunciation. Please pronounce triage. To go. Are you a nurse, Patricia? That's how we say it. Triage. It has that voiced SH sound at the end. Zzz. The reason I say it's a voiced SH is because this is an SH. Shh, shh. But if you add voicing to it, it becomes zzz. So you're vibrating here. Hi, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Uh, just send a, sent me a gift. You have shh, plus your, your vocal cords are vibrating. Zzz, okay, and that's the sound in, in colors like beige. Let me write these down for you. I, I came very prepared. I have a lot of sheets here. I didn't, I didn't show you yet, but we're going to get to everything. But um, I'll give you some words with that 
voiced sh voiced sh sound. So you have you have this word. This is all with and I and I write it out. Yeah, cross that out. This is how I write it out, just so you know. In and I have like a whole system, and I call it naked pronunciation because I stripped away all the complexities of phonetics. And I came up with a brilliant system. It's simple. It's easy. It's explained in this book. When you get my program, you get this book for free. And I explained it thoroughly. I'm just giving you a quickie. It's called Naked Pronunciation. It's my whole system of how to pronounce English like a Native American speaker, easy without the use of phonetics. It's a great system. And it's covered. That's the Naked Vowel Key. It's all covered. It's very easy and it's wonderful. So anyway, I use this for this sound. Imagine you're holding an electric toothbrush and you're making the, um, you make it, uh, you make the motor sound. Like, like you're holding an electric toothbrush. That's the sound. And that's the sound in the word triage. Maybe you're a nurse or a doctor using that word. Um, this word. You wouldn't know it, but right there, beige, it's a color. So she's wearing a beige dress. Here are some other words where that is at the very end. Massage. So we say it. Here's another one. Prestige. That's how we say it. Prestige. Thank you, Orsha. Do you like my shirt? Thank you so much. Steven in Venezuela. Hello, Steven. Um, so what's another one? Massage, prestige, beige, um, luge, um, uh, triage, you know. So that's that's that sound. Okay. So let me go over um, and then the you know, usual in the middle, usual casual notice those hidden w's casual visual v, v, with a v visual unusual um residual not residual no take it back inside of the residual it's not garage okay shish shish has stam thank you very much it's questionable some people say garage it's in the garage it's in the garage some people put a j, an American j, 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 like in age, garage. See, I really do, I do a hard j sound. So my car is in the garage. Although some people say garage, either way is fine. It's fine. Can you pronounce rendezvous? Who's asking me that? Patricia, another French word. Bum, bum, bum. Three syllable word. Stress on the first syllable. Rendezvous. That's a really good word. I should make. I should make a video on that one for Instagram and TikTok. I'm going to write that down. Rendezvous. And I'm going to say my friend Patricia recommended it. So Patricia, I just, you see that? You see that? I just wrote that down. Patricia suggested rendezvous. You'll get that in the next few days. Um, wait, wait. And I think I saw a, a, a Penny ask me something. Penny. Oh, hmm. Domicile. Okay, I'm giving you the short version because I don't want to make a mistake. Domicile, like where you live. That's my domicile. Um, but I, Maryam, I recently joined the Miracle Pronunciation Program. You need support, Maryam. Do, do us a favor. Just um, if you need help, like getting into your account, you're, you're getting videos every day. That's what's happening. It's an amazing course. The first month, I'm sending you 40 amazing videos. But if you're having a hard time, like um, logging in or something, can you please send us an email? Uh, send us an email, info at pronunciationworkshop.com. Info, I-N-F-O, at pronunciationworkshop.com. Send us an email and um, or just reply to any of the emails that we've sent to you. And we'll get it working and we'll help you out. No problem. We, we'll do it right away. 
Can you pronounce supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Hagar asked me about this one. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. 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 That's how you say it. Mary Poppins, the Sherman brothers wrote that song for the amazing movie Mary Poppins. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, sung by the great Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke in the movie Mary Poppins. I hope you found that helpful. Let me go to my notes. Okay, ask me anything. Um, ask me anything. <laughs> Break down this difficult effortlessly. Effortlessly. So um, bum, 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 bum. Four-syllable word. Stress is on the first syllable effortlessly. Um, because the word effort ends with a T, but it goes into a voiced L, we sort of put a stop on that T and we don't pronounce it fully. Effortlessly. Effortless, the list, list. Effortlessly. Effortlessly. So you're welcome, Hagar. So I'm trying to teach you effortlessly. And if you want to speak English effortlessly, um, you might know A.J. Hogue. He's one of my friends. He's a great guy. But if you're serious about improving your pronunciation and your fluency and your grammar and your vocabulary, and you want to speak and sound native, take my training. I'm telling you, it's going to help you so much. We have um, the Miracle Pronunciation Academy. Hello, Max. My son Max is here, who I love dearly and I miss. Um, we have the Miracle Pronunciation Academy, which is my main hub it's my flagship training, um, which is my video course. I've been working on it for about five years. Right now, there's about 172 videos loaded up in the training, which you're going to get when you sign up. Um, and it's amazing. I cover everything you can imagine. Uh, but, and we're constantly adding even more videos to the course. But if you'd like to work with me live for live coaching, um, I do it on Wednesdays. And I do it on Sundays and I work with people live every week for six months. Um, I'm also working with some other people tomorrow. I'm all booked up. I think I have three. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the gifts. Yigo, Ye Ego or Yigo sending me pandas. Thank you for the pandas. Um, I have clients back to back tomorrow, back to Mac on Wednesday. I'm very busy. I also work on the weekends too. Speaking, Yigo Arouse, speaking about pandas, do you know our number one client in the whole world is Panda Express? You might have heard of uh, the Panda Restaurant Group. They own about 2,000 restaurants, Chinese fast food restaurants that are amazing. We love Panda Express. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. I appreciate those sneakers. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you, Patricia. You were the one that asked me rendezvous. You were the one. I didn't forget rendezvous. You're going to get it. Um, so anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so our number, we work with so many uh, employees. And I've been doing this for uh, 12 years. They have, they have my training. They have the Miracle Pronunciation Academy training. And every year they renew their license. So they have a license for the entire organization. And they're one of the many corporate clients that we have. Worcestershire, the, uh, uh, Eunice Verde, Worcestershire, mischievous, drought, or draft, draft, quinoa, scissors. And Moshe's asking me for suspicious. Suspicious, it's a three-syllable word, stress on the second syllable. So you are very... <laughs> Suspicious. Mm -hmm -hmm. Suspicious. Hello, Sarah in Iran. How are how are you? Yes, the best I've ever seen after you is AJ Mito. I know AJ is great. We're friends. We go back a long time. He started his business, Effortless English, right around the same time I started Pronunciation Workshop. He is great at like teaching overall English. He is. He's great at teaching overall English. Um, but I really, you know, I, I'm an, I'm a speech pathologist. So, uh, you know, my focus is really on pronunciation and accent, although I can help you in every area. Pronunciation is my forte that you know, a lot of people have said that I'm probably the best in the world at what I do. 
And let me tell you something. It happens to be true. Um, I'm very good at this. I'm very good at pronunciation. I work with people. I, you know, when I work with people live, I go, tell me about your life. Tell me about your family. Tell me your hobbies. Um, tell me about your job. And people just start talking. Well, I, I'm, I work in a restaurant. I'm an accountant. I'm a doctor. I, I live at home. Um, when, I, um, you know, I'm 75 years old, I'm retired, you know, people just tell me about, they just talk. And as soon as they start speaking, I start taking notes and jumping in. You got to fix this. 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 And it's impossible to think about pronunciation and speak at the same time because the words come out of your mouth so quickly. So it's a lot of repetition. It's a lot of ear training. And over time, it's amazing. It's like a miracle. That's why it's called miracle pronunciation. Because over time, people's problems fade away and, and my clients end up speaking perfect English as if they were born in the United States. And it really does work. And I love what I do. I really do. And it's so nice to see people improve. Um, thank you, Nellie. I appreciate it. You make me feel better when I watch you. And that motivates me. Wolf 3. Thank you for your kind words. Katz is asking me, can I pronounce served and reserved? Very good. That's These are good questions. So, da -da 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 -da. so you know what's strange? What's a little bit of unusual about what you asked me? You asked me, first of all, this is the first word. This is with an S, unvoiced S. On voice desks, put your teeth together. Some of my clients, like from Nepal and India, they have trouble with s and sh. So many people would say, like, you know, c needs s, c needs. Sh. She, they would say, they would say, c needs shoes, something instead of she needs shoes. They'd say c needs shoes. Some so a lot of people have trouble with these s's. This is the angry dog vowel right here. This is a voiced v. And there's an ED ending. So we say this served. Dinner is now served. Angry dog vowel, er, not served. Got to get tight behind it. Lips forward, er, angry dog, er. The word is served. Dinner is served. However, and notice again, this S is s unvoiced. However, you walk into a restaurant you want to sit at that table, but you can't because that table is this. They're holding it for somebody else. In this form, all we know to notice, we added an R-E. Good evening. Good evening. We added an R-E, but you know what happens? This S right here becomes voiced. Nobody tells you this stuff. Nobody tells you this stuff but me. This S becomes a voiced Z. And we say this word as reserved. So using my naked pronunciation system, reserve, res, reserve, reserved, bum bum, re, yeah, reserved. This is how I would say it. So this word is pronounced like this, two syllables, stress on the second syllable. Reserved, notice that's a Z, that S becomes a Z. Reserved, and if you, in this form, it's like this. Served, that's how we say it, served and reserved. You like tomato and I like tomato. Moshe, whoa, you want me to sing a song? You want me to sing a song? You like tomato, I like tomato. You like potato, I like, I say potato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. Um, okay, okay, okay. And also in American English, we say potato. The, 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 that second T becomes a voice D. Ding, ding, ding. Potato. But I know in England they say it very differently. Okay, this is all covered in... My Miracle Pronunciation Academy training. I also want to make mention, let me give a couple of, six stings, six stings. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Because yesterday we hit 6,000.
thousand members in my Elite English Pronunciation Facebook group, which is completely free. There's free training in there. You're going to learn all about what I do. You'll get in on any deals that we have going, like for Black Friday. If I'm traveling the world like I did in Vietnam with with five bodyguards, let me tell you, um, you're gonna you're gonna know what's going on, and you're also I'm gonna help you with your English. So I recommend that you join the group. It's called Elite English Pronunciation. It's the hottest group on Facebook. It's true. It's the hottest group on Facebook, and if you click on the links. Up above in TikTok or um, Instagram, there's a link for Elite English Pronunciation you can join. So I'm just letting you know if you want to join. But yesterday, we you know we started this group less than a year ago, less than a year ago, and we hit yesterday six thousand members. Very exciting. I used to be a hockey player. This is from. Um, let me see. This is from Disha. I used to be a hockey player. But one day got really upset with me and hit me a hockey stick and broke both of my legs. He gave me home to live. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. I hope you're much better. I hope you had a full recovery. I do. I do. Such. Um, that's something to hear. Um, understand, Nelly. So that ER, when I tell people about the word understand, who's Bam Bam? Daniel. Bam, bam, bam. Are you copying how I pronounce words? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, understand. Oh, you're making me laugh. So a lot of my clients will pronounce this as unda, unda, but that ER, almost every time you see an ER in a word, we pronounce it as er. That's the angry dog vowel sound right here. Er. So even though we're saying this word quickly, we still pronounce it as er, understand. I understand what you're saying. It's not understand, it's understand. That's how we say it. You want more music? Song drove me crazy. Mito Babe, you want more music? I'll give you more music. <laughs> Mito Babe. Um, what's in, in the in the pronunciation of the words pen and pain? Well, a lot of my clients are doctors or nurses, and they would say to the patient, are you in pen? Are you in pen? <laughs> and the patients sit there like, what the hell? What? Are you in pen? No, that's not how you say it. So this word, and I help my clients with this every single day. This word right here has the e eh vowel, e. Eh. That's how we say it. Right now, I am using a pen, e. Eh. Pen. Okay. Now, what letter is this? What letter is that? Now, you're probably saying letter A. You're probably saying A, A. Think of it like this. Think of it like this with a, a, a hidden Y after it. And I want you to shape it. Hit it high and, and pull up this Y. That'll raise the vowel. Listen. A, here, I'm exaggerating, but you get the idea. A, so this is the letter A. It's not A, it's not A, thank you, Amel. So it's not the letter A, it's the letter A, A, and that's how you say all these words. Have a nice day. See, it's not have a nice day. It's not day, you have to shape these vowels, day. Play right there. Play. Okay. You cannot see the paper fully. Thank you, Patricia. I'll move. I'll move. Stay. Okay. That's how we say these words. Play. Stay. Uh, 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 day. The color gray. Okay. And this could be a man's name or this could be the light from the sun. Ray, repeat after me, Ray. Okay, you got it? So now that you have this, I want you to add an N, just add an N. And that's how you say this word. That's how you say this word. It's not Ren, because that uh, an English listener is not gonna understand you. It's not Ren, you have to shape it, A, 
and then go to the end. Rain. So I think it's going to rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that Y in there? I think it's going to rain. And now, to answer your question, this is a pen, eh, eh, pen. Notice I'm really not shaping that vowel. It's a flat vowel, eh. This is a pen, but are you in pain? Now, I know I'm doing in slow motion, but it's just like, it's just like that. It's just like that right here. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Pain. Are you in pain? And I think it's going to rain. So when it rains, I'm in pain. And I'm using a pen. That's how you say these words. And I'm sorry if you didn't see some of the words on the sheet, but hopefully that's better. Um, super fan to the watch. Mito, you love my t-shirt and you love my watch. Short and long E. Patricia, I don't use that in my training. You will never hear me refer to vowels short and long. Not really. Yeah, I really don't. I might have said something in, in one of my videos. I might have said, some people refer to this as the short A or so. I might have said it, but I don't use those terms. Um, I, I find them to be confusing, actually. If, if a short I, a long I. Never worked for me. Never worked for me. So I have my own system. I talk about the high E. I talk about high double O's, low double O's. I talk about the air vowel. I talk about the cute baby vowel. I talk about the angry dog vowel. Um, I talk about splitting G's, splitting C's. I have a lot of tricks. I've been doing this for a long time. I have a lot of tricks. I have an amazing course. And seriously, if you really, really really want to improve your English and you want to speak with tremendous confidence so that people can easily understand you, I do recommend that you sign up for my training. You're going to love it. The link is in the bio. Again, it's the Miracle Pronunciation Academy. And I just want to tell you, Ishik is one of my clients from Turkey. And um, she's the one, she's, she, she started with me. She had terrible English terrible grammar, vocabulary, and terrible pronunciation where it was hard to understand her. Now she speaks perfectly. Like you would think she was born in the United States. And um, she's from Turkey. And she said to me, Paul, what you did for me was a miracle. You should name your training Miracle Pronunciation. I said, you think so? You think that's a good idea? She goes, I think it's a great name. So I listened to her and I did. Well, I just saw a picture of her. She just posted and sent me a picture of her. She just lost 50 pounds on a diet and um, she, uh, she looks so amazing. So if you're Ishik, if you're watching and I did send you a message, I sent you a message because I cannot believe how great she looks. She's an inspiration. Um, she lost so much weight and she looks amazing. And so the person who came up with the name Miracle Pronunciation, not only does she speak great, but she looks amazing. She looks amazing. And one of my clients just did a TED Talk. Um, great. I'm so excited. It has like 86,000 views. I'm so proud of her. She just did a TED Talk and um, it's all over YouTube and she speaks beautifully. Um, yes, it's a miracle, Daniel. A true blue spectacle, the miracle come true. Yes, yes, it's a miracle. What is the opposite of a miracle? Opposite of a miracle. It's ordinary. You know, you could have a miraculous day and then you have an ordinary day. So I would say the, the opposite of miracle is ordinary. And But the thing is to find the, mirac the, the miraculous things in the ordinary. You know, it's a great song by Sarah McLaughlin. There's a song she wrote, Ordinary Miracle, right? The Ordinary Miracle. Uh, in a, na, 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 na. It's usual woman. Just another ordinary miracle today. It's from the movie Charlotte's Web. I haven't thought of that song in a long time. She sang it at the opening ceremony of the Olympics when the Olympics were in Canada because she's Canadian, Sarah McLaughlin. Ordinary miracle. Look it up on YouTube. It's a beautiful song all about the uh, ordinary miracles that, that are all around us every single day. It's a beautiful song. 
You like your motivation, energy, and passion. Thank you, Mito. And you like my watch and you like my shirt. So thank you. Not so bad. Let's take a look at my other platforms here. I'm looking. Okay. There are more words. First of all, we have one day to go. And everyone asks me about this month. How do you say this month? The month is pronounced as February. Notice there's a hidden Y right there and a hidden W right there. We pronounce this month as February. Notice how my lips come forward on the W. Wa wa wa. Wa wa. Right there. And notice how my lips come forward again on the R. February. So today is, what is today? The 27th? Yes. Today is Febu February 27th. And if I said it fast, February 27th. Last month was January, and this month is February. And in three more days, we're going to have March 1st, which I love March. March is a great month, and it's my son Max's birthday month, which we celebrate every year. Um, unmiracle. Oh, that's a joke. It's an unmiracle. It's the opposite of miracle, Patricia. Or ordinary. Or ordinary. When your wife tends to... Sh Thank you, Mito. Uh, Mito is asking about my wife. How is my wife doing? My wife is on the other side of the room working. She works very hard and she's listening. So she's there. And thank you for asking about my wife. She's doing great. Who discovered America? Well, some people say it's Christopher Columbus, but of course the indigenous peoples were here in America before he got here. So it's, it's a conversation we can have. How's that? It's a conversation. Um, but my wife is definitely here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me, I'm looking at more, um, questions. Wi-Fi password. You asking me for my Wi-Fi password? <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. A lot of people are saying, I love you too. Nano Raggy. I love you too. Thank you. Thank you for sending me all that love. Um, Colonel Katz is asking me, Colonel, it's pronounced as Colonel. Like if you're in the military, C-O-L-O-N-E-L. Even though it's spelled like that, it's a French word. We pronounce it as er, cur, angry dog vowel, colonel. So he or she is a colonel in the military. Notice when you say military, that A-R-Y at the end is pronounced as an E, eh, as an egg. Military. I have to help my wife with the chores. <laughs> I do. I'm a pretty good husband. I'm not great, but I'm pretty good. Um. So, Colonel, also, when you're eating corn, one piece of corn is also pronounced as Colonel, but that's spelled K-E-R-N-E-L. That's a kernel of corn, and the kernel is in the military. I have a birthday in March, too, Moshe. What day is your birthday? Moshe, let me know. What day in, Mar in March is your birthday? And coming up, who? Uh, that's great. Cheese China. Are you, are you asking me how to pronounce? Cheese China Production. And how to pronounce girl and curl. So both of those words are tricky because they both have that angry dog vowel sound. Err. Um, thank you, Patricia. Thank you. So we pronounce not a boy, but a girl. Okay, that's how we say it. Err, girl. And um, curl. So the girl, thank you, cats. The girl has curly hair. That's how we would say that sense. Thank you, cats, for all those gifts. Look at all those gifts you're giving me. Pizzas and muffins and everything. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. Manolo is in the house. Hey, Manolo. Spanish speakers do amazing with my Miracle Pronunciation Academy training. I'm just letting you know. Do you have a page on Facebook or an account? Yes. So we have the... Um, we have my private group, 6,000. Yesterday, we had 6,000 members. That's the Elite English Pronunciation Group. Hilarious. Am I funny? I try to be funny. Um, so join the group, Elite English Pronunciation. That's my premier free private Facebook group. And if you go up to the link up in TikTok and Instagram and also in um, YouTube, there's a link. It's, it's going to say link tree, link tree. And... Um, March 22nd, Mary, happy birthday, Mary Martinez, happy early birthday. Um, click on that link and join the Elite English Pronunciation Group. 
You can also see success stories. You can see my LinkedIn. You can follow me on Twitter, LinkedIn. Jewelry, that's how you say it. It's going from, that's tricky because you go from an L, la, 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 to an R. So you got to push the R. Jewelry. So right now, as you can see, I am not wearing any jewelry except for my watch. And there's Mickey. Can you see Mickey is on my watch? Where Mickey met in my Apple watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my watch. Um, jewelry. That's how we say it. You like it when I sing boom, boom, boom. <laughs> um, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes. Gabe, I do have a YouTube channel. We have over a million views on YouTube, but I haven't been focusing on YouTube lately, but I just started. In fact, today is day two of going live on YouTube. I'm on live. I'm on YouTube live right now. Um, so I, I, I encourage you to join and, and follow my YouTube channel. If you go up to the link in my bio, you'll see YouTube. Those are, it'll bring you right to the page. And you can follow me on YouTube. It's the name of the page is Pronunciation Workshop. That's the um, name of my company. As you know, I'm a speech language pathologist, and I teach people all over the world how to speak perfect English. If you'd like to work with me in my live coaching, the second link down in my link tree, the second link, is to apply to work with me live face-to-face. -face. I work with clients every single week face-to-face -face in my live coaching, and it would be my pleasure to help you, and you would not, you will. You will not believe how much I can help you with your English and how much you will improve. My birthday, thank you, Moon Girl Me. My birthday's in October. My birthday's in October, thank you. But Max's birthday is coming up next month in March, so is Mary's. And Moshe, tell me, when is your birth? Oh, on the 15th, March 15th, right right smack dab in the middle of the month. What time is the face-to-face -face classes? So, Patricia, let me know where you are. Where do you live? Tell me what country, and I'll I'll tell you what time what time it is, um, the classes. And um, but you know, I have different things. I have different like levels of training. So some of my classes you have to set up appointments with me personally excuse me, that some of the classes are scheduled through my calendar to work with me live. And then other classes, I, I, I do it on, oh, you're in the Philippines? So I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. So right now it is eight o'clock in the morning in the Philippines and it is six o'clock at night where I am. So you are 14 hours ahead of me. So I have, I offer classes and I have people who do my live classes from the Philippines. Um, I have classes, five, six, seven, 7 a.m. Philippines time on Thursday mornings. So every Thursday morning at 7 a.m. Philippines time is one of my classes. And then the other one probably wouldn't be good for you. That would be midnight Philippines time, midnight going into um, Monday. So midnight, 12 a.m. on Monday. So that probably wouldn't be good. But probably the one on um, Thursdays would be good for you in the Philippines. And I work with people from all over, Australia, China, Japan, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Colombia, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Mexico, um, Italy, um, everywhere. Every country you can imagine, I have clients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Egypt, I have clients in Egypt, Libya, um, Afghanistan, Tripoli. I see you're in Tripoli, Lib Libya. Look at that. Great. Thank you for joining me. Feel life. I have so many clients from the Philippines. For some reason, my clients in the Philippines are so beautiful and so musically talented, they are, and so nice. The nicest people in the Philippines, I really are. And someday I would love to get there. I've never been to the Philippines. Um, I have an incredible personality, and you wish you could meet me face to face. Mita, well, thank. I bet you have an incredible personality too. I really believe that because um, like people like each other. So. Thank you for that compliment. I'm sure you're wonderful as well. I'd love to meet you as well. Join my live coaching. We could work together every single week. It would be amazing. Um, who's asking me? 
Brazil. I have many clients in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and also um, Rio. When my baby, when my baby smiles at me, I go to Rio de Janeiro. Guatemala is in the house. Yes, I have clients in Guatemala, Botswana, South Africa. I do Kuwait. Yes, I have clients in Kuwait and Dubai and Abu Dhabi and Peru. Yes, I have clients all over the world. It's amazing. Um, and I love what I do. Take my training. I recommend that you, if you want to work with me live, it would be great. But I recommend that you start with my Miracle Pronunciation Academy training because it's um, it's very affordable, first of all. You can sign up for $37 US. So it's so affordable and you will learn so much. And then after you, you're taking some of my videos, maybe then you want to um, start working with me live. You might not even need to, but a lot of people start with my Miracle Pronunciation Academy training and then they, 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 uh, they, um, you know, they move up and they go, Paul, I'd love to work with you face to face. And then they start working with me live. Um, can you clarify when you say in and when on the dates? <clears throat> on Mondays, on Tuesdays. So normally I, you know, I'm going to meet you in March. I'm going to meet you in June. Let's get together in June. Let's have lunch in August. So in the month, but I'm going to meet you on Tuesday. So this is some of the crazy stuff about English. I meet you on the day. I'm going to meet you on a Tuesday on a Sunday, on a Monday, but I'm going to meet you in August. Moshe, I hope that helps you. Paul, pronounce write down the clearly, please. Uh, please, Mito, please re rephrase your question. Don't understand your question. Uh, drugs, luxury, mafia, Metallica. Okay, I'm answering. My miracle pronunciation, Mary, thank you. And you're the one with birth, the birthday in March, if I remember. Yes, yes. Uh, Basinde, Basinde, thank you. Thanks for your kind words. Yes. So, Jessica, to answer your question, remember, I'm a speech language pathologist. So, fluency is a very big thing for me. And I've also worked with many clients who, have, who are disfluent. Disfluent means they stutter, they have fluency issues. And when you speak English as a second language, not only does your pronunciation and syllable stress need to be spot on, but you want to speak fluent and you want to have the correct word connections because in English, everything's connected and word connections are super important. So yes, I cover fluency. I cover sentence structure, grammar, vocabulary, but specifically pronunciation and accent. And I'll tell you, you work with me for a little bit and you are not going to believe how you're speaking English. I mean, people are amazed and that's why they pay me big bucks for what I do um, at the big corporations like Microsoft, McDonald's, NASA, um, Deloitte. You know, I'm, I'm sort, sort of famous all around the world doing what I do. And it's because I'm so good at it and I love what I do. It's all true. Thank you, Dre.com. Thank you. You're awesome. No, you are awesome. You are awesome. Okay. Let's see if I missed anything. I did. I did. One of my clients asked me about, clearly, is that it? I want to hear slowly the word clearly. So that's a high E going to a final R. Clear. Now, many of my clients would say, oh, the sky is so clear. It's so clear. Not That's not clear because it sounds like the name Claire. So I have a friend, Claire, and she looks up in the sky and she's she sees the sky that it's very clear. So it's a very high E vowel. I call it the high E where you have to like squeeze it. E and then you go to the final R. Clear. And then you asked me how to say clearly. And that's another high E at the end. L-Y is a high E. Clearly. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. That's, that's a good, it's a good word. I can see all obstacles in my way. I'm losing my voice, so you'll excuse me. Let me have a quick drink. Hadi, thank you. You want to join my live coaching? Again, I do my live coaching on Wednesdays, and I do it on Sundays. 
You need to apply. If you want to work with me live, you must apply because I don't work with just anyone. You need to be a good fit for my coaching. So the second link, go to the link tree above. The second link is to apply for my live training. And then maybe we'll get you um, enrolled and it would be my pleasure to help you. Anyone who wants to work with me live face-to-face, -face, you must enroll. Click that second link in my bio and enroll and Hopefully I could be working with you in a week or two. That would be amazing. Thank you, Anita. She says, I have a great voice. Thank you. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Autism. Molly wants to pronounce how to pronounce autism. It's a terrible, terrible affliction. I've worked with so many autistic uh, children. I used to work in, uh, before I, I launched Pronunciation Workshop, I worked in early intervention, which is uh, working with children from birth to three. So about for 12 years before I worked on specialized in this, I worked with um, autistic children who, who were autistic and they had autism. And that's how you say it. Autism, three syllable word, bum, bum, bum. And it has the cute baby vowel, aw, autism. So this child is autistic. That's a three syllable word with the stress on the second syllable. Autistic. So the autistic child has autism, and we should know from it, it's a terrible thing. Godson, thank you for the compliment. I want to improve my pronunciation and my fluency. Jessica, please consider signing up. I would love to work with you, and you will not believe how much I can help you, really. Thank you, Molly. Thanks for all the gifts. My pleasure. How do you pronounce iron? John, that's covered extensively in my training. Um, it's one of those very unusual American pronunciations. The word ironic, that's ironic. You push the R, but the word iron, that R comes after the vowel. It's a very unusual pronunciation. And this is covered extensively in my Miracle Pronunciation Academy training. I recommend that you sign up. You will learn so much. You really will. Um, thank you, Moshe, for the compliments. I see everyone's compliments. Please elaborate more about using in, on, or at. Doctor, I would love to do so, but I think I'm running out of steam. So I'm going to cover that on a different day. In, on, and at. But normally, you, the, you know, I'm going to have lunch on a certain day. I'm going to meet you in a certain month. And if it's a location, it's at. Let's meet at McDonald's. Let's meet at KFC. You know, at. That's the location. Thank you, everyone. Listen, what's the song's name? Which one? Which one? I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Is that the song? I love boom, boom, boom. Everyone's, you make me laugh. That's so funny. That's so funny. Um, everyone, thank you so much. I'm just checking. I'm just checking here on YouTube. Oh, Marco. Marco, I see. Thank you, Marco. Hi, Tarzan. You're making me laugh. Hey, Marco, I see is on YouTube. <laughs> Normally, I don't see you on YouTube, Marco. Um, why don't all Americans have clear accents like me? What can I tell you? I don't know what to tell you, but I've helped many, many people. Believe me, I've helped many, many people. And many people do. Many people do. They say I've helped about 55 million people um, have taken my training. Abdallah, thank you, from Sudan. And Ellie is asking me, bum, 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 bum. It's a four-syllable word. Photography. So the short form is photo. I'm going to take a photo of you. Notice that word ends with an O. So we shape it. O, O, O. Photo. I'm going to take a photo. But when you have it in the longer word, that O becomes an A. Ah. We say it as photography. Bum, 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 bum. So the second syllable gets the stress. So I'm really into photography. That's how we say it. That's how we say it. Situations, Abdel Rama. Situations. Notice there's the T is pronounced as a CH, chop, chop, chop. And there's a hidden W in there. Situations. So there are many situations we should discuss. Innovative, Amar innovative. The stress is on the first syllable. Bum, 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 bum. So she is very innovative. Don't forget the V, innovative. 
Everyone, thank you for joining me today. This was so much fun. If you are serious about improving your English, please consider signing up for the training. It's going to help you so much. It's a win-win. You're helping me. You're helping my business. But more importantly, you are going to speak amazing English. Your, your vocabulary, fluency, grammar, everything will improve, especially your confidence. People make more money in their careers. My training helps a lot of people. So, um, And right now you get my free book. Sign up now. You will get the Syllable Stress Survival Guide, the top 101. You will get this completely for free if you sign up right now. I encourage you to sign up. The link is in the bio. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm going to post this if you want to watch it again. Again, join my Elite English Pronunciation. Let's work on reaching 7,000 members. We're probably going to reach that very quickly at the rate we're going. It's the hottest group on Facebook, Elite, E-L-I-T-E, Elite English Pronunciation. Or you can click the link right above, and that'll bring you right to this group. Thanks, everyone, for watching me today. Have a great day. Best wishes. Good to see you. Sending my best wishes from my family to yours. Have a great day. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.